what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we have a couple of new things to go over in the catalog and a couple of old things to also go over in the catalog but before i actually do that if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe right now for more videos like this one smash that thumbs up button at the end of this video and make sure your post notifications are turned on ladies and gentlemen with that being said let's just jump right into this so typically when i go to the catalog i will search for something that i have never seen before or something that kind of grabs my attention whether if it's a new item or it's a price change within an item so we have quite a couple of things here at the top. Now, typically when I, you know, go to here, obviously you go to this tab here where it says Revelance, you know, which, you know, has relevance to whatever you're looking for, obviously. But I typically, you know, just go to recently updated because that tab will take you to whatever it's new or whatever has been updated you know, as far as like price changes, as I said, you know, um, an interface design or whatever the case may be. So we still have these midsummer horns, which is a limited item. Um, they still have quite a few remaining. They're still at 3000 Robux. Um, I don't know how I feel about these horns exactly. Um, just thinking about, you know, head shapes for, um, Roblox avatars, it's like, you know, how's this going to look? Because when you think about it, it's going to stick out probably towards the side of your head, you know? So not too sure about that. You have this infernal undead sword, um, quite a few of those are left as well um, 29,000 to be exact and the price for this is 13,000 robux um, very steep very much up there but this sword has a lot going on to it and i actually do like this item you know but i don't think i'll ever Ever will be able to afford this this item might actually disappear by the time I'm able to afford it so we have some new items here which is this fox eared headphones let's actually click on that to get a 360 view of it because I kind of like the um, design of it the way it looks Just give it a second to load up. Yeah, that looks dope. This is probably the best looking headphones that I personally have seen on a Roblox. Now, I definitely recommend this item because obviously it um, it combines headphones with the look of a fox. You know what I'm saying? It's not just your typical boring designed headphones. And then you can see that they actually put a lot into these headphones. Looking at the color, then you have these uh, like subwoofers on the ear parts. You also have music here. So just imagine you have music playing through here in which you can hear the sounds. And then you can share your music by, you know, allowing this to play outside, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to think honestly because there has to be a reason as to why this design is, you know, this way. I would think, you know, you typically have these parts for the music when you're trying to listen to it yourself. And maybe this is like a group share option or something like that. You can play your music to a group of people in the circle and everybody else is able to hear it. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looks like to me. And that's why I think this is actually a dope item. And if you have the Robux, I would consider, you know, recommending this item because I think you will look cool with it. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't just your typical boring headset. So, yeah, this is dope. 
I might have to pull a few strings to get these though. <laughs> um, OP rewards, obviously, you know, because that's my only option. Um, and that is the best option, to be honest. Now, typically, it takes, you know, at least like 15 points for you guys to cash out. But, you know, all of that is earnable. So I don't want to hear people saying that uh, it's hard for me to earn points or I can't do it or what's the cash out rate. Like I have all those videos on my page. Literally, there's a video called how to cash out with OP rewards on my page. And the other video, I believe it's called like you know, all free working websites for 2019 for free Robux or something, something along the lines of that title. Or if you can't find a title, just go through the videos on my page that has, you know, OP rewards in the thumbnail because those are the freaking videos that I use to show you guys the proof that, you know, these websites are working. I don't know anything about these rpx.gg sites and stuff like that. Some people ask me about it, and I just never heard of them. You know, only websites that I know that are legit working for me and for a couple of people that I actually helped out was OP Rewards, iRobux, and Game Blocks. That's it. All right, let's go back to the catalog. Actually, first, let's do this because we was uploading a video. This video, it took a lot to upload. For some strange reason, every time I would upload it and then this message, once again, it pops up. But don't worry, it's not private. For some reason, it always says that it is. I don't know why. But, you know, it is what it is with YouTube. It always acts weird for me. Okay, we have the Glorious Ram Horns. Now, let's take a further look at this. Damn, I really need some Robux, man. I wish I was, like, super rich on Roblox. Because, like, look at these cool items. Like, this, honestly, right here, this looks really, really dope. I love the colors on it. You have the purple to blue tips. You know what I'm saying? Like, the transitioning from blue into purple. Because, honestly, they're, they're closely related in color. Um, you also have these, like, whatever this stuff is wrapping around it. Could be, like, hair or something. Then there's actually hair right here attached to it so you know this is worn as a headpiece obviously and you have some hair attached to it you know so that's pretty cool um in the horns they definitely look dope you know um this is definitely another recommended buy if you have the robux you know because there are certain items that look cool then there's certain items that just really don't look as exciting and this item right here this looks exciting you know i love the colors as i said um the horns look you know pretty menacing and the fact that it has a little you know little hair piece attached to it you're getting a bonus right here for a thousand robux you're getting a set of horns and you know some hair so put two and two together it makes sense So yeah, so far we have two recommended buy items. Okay, I hate when they do the bullshit. This is every time. Every time. I don't even remember where the heck I was when I got this. What was it all categories? Damn it, man. Accessories. Okay, here we go. <laughs> little technical difficulty right there. So these two are recommended by, for me, the Fox Ear Headphones and the Glorious Ram Horns. 
now we have these winter wolf pauldrons um i talked about pauldrons before in one of my last videos um some of them have like an interest like meaning you know okay maybe i can buy this you know and maybe this is just a waste of robux but this right here is a recommended buy for me because i love this look right here this is definitely worth the robux at a hundred you know and you're getting oh some some wolves <laughs> you know what i'm saying you get to add this to your like armor or whatever kind of outfit you're wearing you know and this will definitely creep people out but at the same time they'll be blown away by it because just looking at it it looks really really dope you know and it looks like it's made out of some different type of material like metal or something or some kind of steel you know what i'm saying it's not an actual like wolf head now i think if it were an actual wolf head it probably would be more robux and it would be you know like a super item that you would have to get you know because you're walking around with actual dead wolves on you um but still nonetheless this actually looks really good um it's just a matter of finding the perfect outfit to blend with it. You guys know how I feel about, you know, making outfits and stuff like that. Everything has to blend together. It has to coexist, you know. So if you find something perfectly, you know, worthy of going together with this, definitely buy it. But if you don't find anything to go with it, still buy it anyway because it's only 100 Robux and it's a new item. So we got three recommended purchases that you guys should be able to make. Once again, the Fox Ear Headphones, the Glorious Ram Horns, and the Winter Wolf Pauldrons. Now we have Hummingbird Wings. The description a hummingbird flaps his wings up to 70 times per second which is very true and their heart rate can reach 1260 beats per minute and that's before their morning coffee well this is the type of you know description that you really don't technically need when it comes to just buying something but this was honestly you know probably taken from like the wikipedia for hummingbirds um <laughs> because i remember reading some of this like this and this is you know actual facts about a hummingbird but it's you know it's, as i said it's not really needed you know it should have said something more catchy which makes you want to buy these wings um but i do like the way they look I don't know if it's a recommended buy though because me personally I hate the fact that wings are so expensive this is exactly what I was talking about the other day this is like you know the legit price range in which you will find any type of wings from starting from 700 all the way up to at least a thousand you know um, but if you have the robux I would say get it but it's not a recommended kind of buy for me i would say that you can still skip it because there are other wings out there that actually look better than this this is kind of like a painted on cardboard kind of look or a canvas or something you can tell that this is like painted you know what i'm saying you can see the detail in it it's not it's not as if it looks like actual like feathers you know what i'm saying this is clearly you can see like brush strokes and stuff like that but at the same time seeing these brush strokes and stuff it does make it look a lot cool you know if that makes sense it does make it look a lot cooler but as i said you know it's not really a recommended buy for me but if you do have the robux get it because it's a new item and you don't know what this situation could be during next week you know because these could go up in price they could go down which 
we really get to see items go down, you know, as far as pricing goes, or it can actually just disappear entirely. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> okay, we have a rooster mask um, for 200 Robux. Uh, I don't know. Do you really want to walk around dressed as the rooster? I'm not sure. This should have actually been like an avatar bundle. You know what I'm saying? Like to actually have a rooster costume or something. Um, I think that actually would have been dope because if you buy this, you need, you need the rest of the body because it, it just looks stupid. You're just walking around with a rooster head and no rooster body, you know? Now I do know that there's these like mascot characters also, but you need something to match this because this is like a brown kind of rooster. So I don't recommend that, um, but if you have the Robux, you can spend it because 200 Robux is not, you know, that expensive. Okay, we have the Sophisticated Crow. This might be a shoulder pet or one of those stupid uh, profile picture kind of things that tries to make your avatar look cooler but has no relevance to it. Yeah, this is one of those shoulder pet things. Uh, don't recommend this. Um, but it does look cool. It has a little monocle glass, like eyeglass thing going on. little top hat, a little bow tie underneath it. He, he got it going on. He look rich. You know what I'm saying? He looks like a rich, rich crow bird. But I don't really like shoulder pets. I'm sorry. You know? Um, but if you guys are into that, 300 Robux is a bit pricey, but if you have it, I say get it, you know. Um, if they would have brought it down to at least like 100 Robux, then I would have definitely recommend you buy this. But this is kind of like, you know, an impulse buy. If you want to buy it, just go for it. If not, then skip it. The little description says, Fancy Crow, Fancy Crow, how far do you think you'll go? <laughs> See, now that's a description in which, you know, kind of sells the product. You don't make something boring like the last one, giving you actual facts about a hummingbird. Like, come on. We're not here to, you know, be educated about hummingbirds. <laughs> we just want to buy the damn wings. Okay, the dual sword pack of blue steel. 10,000 Robux. I love this. I love it so much, but I, I'm, I'm never going to afford it. So just, you know, when it comes to stuff that's really, really high price, you guys know how I feel about that. I typically just go right past it. I'm not even going to spend so much time on it. Sir Rich McMoneyston 3. The disguise look right past that is also eleven thousand one hundred and eleven Robux. Just like like first thing, I'm gonna look past it because it's so expensive. Secondly, this isn't my you know style. I don't really like all of this. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to me building my own avatar, I wouldn't wear all of this. So, yeah, that's two reasons why I'm skipping over it. And the third reason, I believe this actually went up because I believe this was on sale during the Memorial Day, um, you know, weekend kind of celebration that went down and they released all these items. I believe this was at 8,000, 8,000 Robux, but now it's at 11,000. It's just like, why did it go up, you know? It's just stupid. Obnoxious spring shades. These are like a super girly item. Um, for all my girl players out there, I would recommend these for you because honestly, they're girl shades. Um, they have these like spring flowers on them and 
they have these actually really cool decent colors which you have like a light blue here and then you have a uh, purple towards the end which are both you know categorized as like female kind of colors so yeah i would say get that you know 150 robux ain't bad for that next we have the 8-bit crimson red wings i believe these are wings uh, let's open it up and see exactly what it is oh no they're horns crimson horns every pixel is packed with strength now this is a super no for me it's just a super no because of you know one particular reason this is roblox ladies and gentlemen this isn't minecraft so there isn't a need to sell 8-bit products i'm sorry i just never understood why roblox had a couple of items you know that kind of resembles what you know minecraft items will actually look like because when you think about it it is a competition between roblox and minecraft whether or not if it's actually known as a competition it is physically and you know like mentally a competition between the two companies because they do share similarities in role play and kind of designs when it comes to like maps and stuff like that but honestly create your own items don't make minecraft items in roblox because that pisses a lot of people off especially me because i for one am not a minecraft player you know what i'm saying so i don't want to see minecraft looking items in a game of roblox because it does not make any sense you know what i'm saying because these pixelized items is what you would typically look for in minecraft you know in Roblox, we have, you know, 3D kind of realistically looking avatars. This right here is just, it's just like Legos built together. You know what I'm saying? This is just sloppy. It's disgusting. And it's super priced at $700 for the quality, you know, because this looks, uh, you know, I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like this. This just looks so stupid, you know? And the fact that it's here in Roblox, it's just dumb. Now, if I were a mine play, you know, a Minecraft player and I was looking for items like this in Minecraft, this would be an easy sell, you know, because it makes sense. But in Roblox, it just looks stupid. Now, you are entitled to your own opinions, you know, your own opinions and your own judgment, so... If you want to buy this, you buy it, you know, because it's your Robux. I can't tell you to not buy it. I'm just suggesting that you don't waste your time on this item. 700 Robux, and then it looks like a piece of shit, you know? It's just like, come on. Come on, Roblox. You could design better stuff than this. The Cobalt Wolf Tail. Um... I actually love this tail, and when I get the Robux for it, I'm going to buy this tail. So, that's a recommended buy um, for one reason only, because this, you know, this definition in the tail is so unique and different from just a traditional wolf tail. You know, you have the colors in which you have like this like variations from dark to light you have like different blues going on in there you got like a midnight blue you got a like a navy blue a royal blue a little bit in there and possibly shades of black in there but as i said this isn't just a general you know plain kind of like silver or grayish kind of tail for a wolf you know this actually makes you stand out because the fact that it's a wolf tail and it's blue people are going to be like whoa you know i never seen a blue wolf before but hey <laughs> they're gonna definitely respect the look because this is originality 
and it's unique. So recommended buy for the Cobalt Wolf Tail. Recommended buy for the Ob Obnoxious Spring Shades. Recommended buy for the Winter Pauldrons, Winter Wolf Pauldrons, the Glamorous Ram Horns, and the Fox Ear Headphones. Uh, tiny Crown, Cornet Crown. Uh, I don't know about this. Um, I actually don't even want to talk about it. Um, it's not that it's super expensive. It's just the fact that I actually don't have any opinion on it, you know. Um, so I'm just going to skip it. This Moon Celeric Headdress. We spoke about this already. So yeah, you know, that would be it for the newest items. Um, as I said, I went through the recommended items. You have the Cobalt Wolf Tail that I recommend. The obnoxious spring shades for the females, the winter wolf pauldrons, the glorious ram horns, and the fox ear headphones. All worthy of being purchased. It all depends on how many Robux you guys actually have. And once again, OP Rewards actually does work. If you need the proof, just go through the videos on my channel and you will find that what I'm telling you is 100% legit. Um, yeah, you know, don't see anything else that's really, you know, needed for me to talk about. Um, address this real quickly. Way too much for some fucking ruby red shades. Retro pattern shades. These actually look like they're new. Um, I don't think I've seen them before. Um, 876 Robux. Once again, very expensive. But these are a limited edition items. And that's probably the lowest that you'll get for a limited edition item. Um... Firestarter Sunshades. Wow. 55,000 Robux. Here we go again. The shit that makes me mad. Like, why is this price so high for a pair of shades? And who honestly thinks they're going to get this much Robux? Like, who's going to purchase this? I don't, I don't get it. Dr. Crazy Bot. I love this, but I'll never be able to afford it, you know. Um, Noble Hood of Shining. I think we spoke about this before. 5,000 Robux. Pretty decent. Um, I love the design and look to it, but this is another item that I won't be able to afford. But if you're able to afford it, you know what? Go for it. Buy it. Um, one other thing before I actually um, end this video, this is something that came from my Twitter suggestions and something that people wanted to hear me talk about. Um, now, this has to do with this whole, uh, you know, um, Builders Club situations. Now, they are taking away things slowly, but it's something that you actually have to pay attention with your own eye to actually catch. Now, typically when you go here, you will see all of this. All of this up here remains the same. You get the same amount of, you know, joins per group, how many groups you can actually create. And, you know, if you sell items, whatever, you know, like selling items or, you know, creating games and stuff like that, this is the revenue you will earn. You know what I'm saying? Aside from what Roblox takes, which is, you know, just 30%, you get to keep the remaining 70, which is pretty cool, you know? Um, so as I said, all of this is pretty much the same. But when you come down here to the perks, all of these options used to have at least five options here. 
So now everything is down to three. You have ads, um, the sell stuff option, and the trade system. Um, I believe there was also like gear that you were able to get freely. And there used to be hats for each um, club membership that you get. So, for example, you would get the classic um, builders club. You had this like, you know, kind of construction, you know, construction worker helmet, which was like yellow and light blue. Then you had this color, which was like an orangey blackish color. And I never actually seen what the outrageous helmet looks like, nor have I ever purchased an outrageous builders club. Now, this one obviously is the more, you know, choosable option because it does offer more. But at the same time, while it offers more, it costs more. $19.95 monthly and annually is going to cost you about $130. So, yeah, you know, that's something to think about, you know, when you're purchasing Builders Club because at the end of the day, People are starting to think that it's, you know, not really worth it. Um, but in my opinion, I still will be getting, you know, Builders Club and stuff like that because it does open the door for so many opportunities for you guys. Because with Builders Club, you're allowed to make outfits and design your own games and you're allowed to, you know, sell things throughout Roblox. So, you know, there is a chance that you can still make Robux from items that you sell, you know? Hence the reason why I put so much time and effort into my outfits because at the end of the day, I want people to buy my stuff and I want people to notice what I'm putting out there, which is why I try to make, you know, my outfits original instead of just making a bunch of copies because Typically, when you go to the catalog, that's all you see is a bunch of copies of the same outfits over and over, you know, and that sucks. Now, there is this, you know, rumor, this little theory going around that there will be another um, Builders Club option here. Now, it is said to be... Um, like a premium option. Now, I'm not legitimately, you know, 100% there when it comes to this option because I'm not sure how, you know, legit and how truthful this will be. Some people are, you know, making videos and saying that, you know, they have actual access to like, um, Roblox files and stuff like that, which pretty much said something about an update. They went off of this whole diamond uh, thumbnail picture and ran off with it, you know, just automatically. So I'm not too sure if that is going to be a future option. But if they do decide to add another, like, you know, membership form, I would say to make something affordable for those that can't, you know, actually afford Builders Club, maybe something, you know, less pricey down here. Um, obviously, the classic is, you know, the standard buy for everyone that's starting out because it's only five ninety five monthly and annually is only like 58 bucks. So that's not really bad, not too expensive. Um, with that, you get to join 10 groups. You can create 10 of your own groups. You still get your 70% back from anything that you sell and, you know, any games that make any, you know, profit. So you're still getting something and you're getting 15 Robux every day. Um, but as I said, you know, for those that really want Builders Club but can't afford it, there should be another option right here. You know, like in between, that's what I would say. Put something in between here or update this free option and give people Robux, you know, maybe like 15 Robux a day or 10 Robux. Um, increase the amount of group joins. 
one thing I do, you know, like kind of wish they would actually work on is the group joins because there are so many good groups out there, you know what I'm saying, as far as like clothing, as far as like, uh, you know, general company, there's like good people to talk to in the groups and stuff like that. Then there's certain groups that give out, you know, Robux and everything. So, you know, the fact that on a basic, you know, free account, you're only able to join five groups. And then after that, you know, you will have to leave another group in order to join another group. And it just, you know, becomes a headache at the end of the day, you know, and then you're not able to create your own group. So when you're under a free basic account setup, you're not able to make any Robux, you know, and this paid access where it says 10%. I don't know what exactly are you getting 10% of considering the fact that this is a free basic account and you're not able to sell anything. So it's just, it's just weird, you know, because as you can see, it says no for ads, no for sell stuff, and you're unable to trade items. So yeah, you know, just don't jump the gun until it's made official, you know, as far as this premium membership theory goes. I would definitely make a video on it if it becomes a legit thing. But for right now, I don't think it's going to be a thing until it is actually said. You know, I'm not going to jump the gun and tell you guys to be on the lookout for this premium membership because it could just be, you know, fan based theories. People could just be going off of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually took the time to, you know, listen to all of these people that have been putting out these videos about the Roblox premium membership. And they're all kind of saying basically the same thing in different forms. And, you know, I kind of want to believe it. But at the same time, it's like, what proof do we actually have? Because I never seen any of these Roblox secret files, you know what I'm saying? And I have downloaded Roblox a couple of times recently to try to actually play on a Chromebook. And nor did I ever see a diamond picture thumbnail, nor did I ever see anything pertaining to the word premium. So I don't, I don't get it, you know? Um, but as I said, I will make a video for it if it is a thing, you know? I will definitely keep you guys updated. And, you know, I will catch you guys in the next one. Obviously, subscribe to this channel if you're new for more videos like this. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and turn on your post notifications. That bell will alert you every time I'm uploading a video or doing a live stream on my channel. Peace out.